Hello viewers, thanks for watching Parties Extra, brought to you by Party Galaxy. Karma Robinson, Sue Ryan, and Ad Adelaide Litke are here to tell us about the Flaming Festival. Welcome ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's coming up, yeah. so tell us what... Only, only a week away, a week a from week today, away. yes. Well, Karma, tell us what our viewers can expect at the Flaming Festival this year. It's the 56th year. Yes, it is. It's the 56th year, and we were just visiting about. I mean, that's one of one of the interesting things about the Flaming Festival is really the tradition of the event and Theta's coming together from all walks of life and and uh, all parts of the state to to work together to make this event a success. How many people come? We have usually over 600 that attend. Um, we have them come throughout the day. For the, the time is from 10 to 4, next Wednesday, November 7th. And so we have people come throughout the day. So they're not all there all at once, but at different times. So we usually have over 600. You started with Theta's decorating tables. So you still have that element. So tell us about that. Yes, we have the Theta decorated tables where they do different themes. I know we have a uh, bridal shower theme with antique uh, table toppers from from wedding cakes well, that's cool. uh, and then we have an Olay theme which is a uh, fiesta kind of theme yeah. uh, we have luck of the Irish so we have a lot of different themes that our Theta's put together to have fun with and, and show all our guests um, so then after that those those tables you have commercial tables yes we have commercial vendors that mm -hmm. participate we have some that have been coming for for a long time silks etc is is a traditional favorite of a lot of our thetas and they've been coming for a long time we have troctus florist there we have uh, rawhide uh, which is a local vendor here in oklahoma city we have in your dreams from norman and fox lane pearls and and many others that are participating so then you have a, a speaker so a tell speaker. us about that i'd like it's uh, louise bayless parsley and she's from Houston, and I got to know Louise when I moved to Houston and became engaged to my husband. His family and her family were old friends, and I would see her around town and at parties, and she is maybe one of the funnest and funniest people around. And what she did, at, sometime after we moved to Oklahoma, she started a, a column in the Houston Chronicle called To Wit, and it was a, it was just to thing, wit. To Wit. Uh -huh. And it was uh, things about, you know, families and children and carpools and in-laws and cooking dinner and, but all with a, you know, twist of, of wit and also kind of a nice message to go along with it. And eventually she uh, combined all of the, most of those and put it in the form of this book called Revelations in the Rearview That's Mirror. That's darling. Mm -hmm. And it's all, it's, it's called One Mother's Hard Won and Hilarious Epiphanies on the Road to the Empty Nest. <laughs> <laughs> and the best recommendation I can give about this book is that Barbara Bush said, the combination of Parsley's wit, wisdom, and warmth put, makes me put her up there with the best, Irma Bonbeck. And I mean, maybe I date myself by saying <laughs> that, but we, Irma Bonbeck is one of the funniest authors ever. Very and funny. If, mm -hmm. if Louise is in that same group, that's a pretty It'd be a strong, great speaker. So yes. it's your luncheon speaker. Yes. yes. Yeah. And her, has she written any other books? No, this Just is, is it. Right now. Uh -huh. And she will be selling these there at the and mm -hmm. signing them mm -hmm. after the luncheon. Oh, so yeah. yeah. That'll be fun. She can do the buyer book too. Okay. Great. Well, um, so who does the who do you benefit from the Flaming Festival? Well, we have a couple of philanthropies and mm -hmm. Sue's been working with them for several years and as as a past Sue is a past Flaming Festival chairman I see. and is our current president of uh -huh. the alum group. So yes. I'll let her okay. fill you in on our All right. Well, uh, proceeds will benefit CASA, court appointed special advocates. We have a special place in our heart for them. We have partnered with them for a long time and you know, their mission is that every child you know, should have a safe place to live and feel safe, and uh, they all deserve to have the you know dignity and respect that you know all of our children should have. So, you know, we've heard plenty of stories from Casa, and we feel very connected to that organization. So we will be helping them, and then Youth Services of Oklahoma County, another great organization that is helping older kids, uh, high school students. They this is their 40th year of helping kids, and. Uh, 
you know, these kids come, uh, they're great kids, they work hard in school, they have jobs, and they find themselves in situations where their parents can't help them. And so, you know, they are not there financially or emotionally, so, you know, they're their cheerleaders, they give them emergency assistance, they've got a pantry there, and they just help them along, you know, in high school. And so, we're really fortunate to, you know, be able to partner with both of them and help kids in our community. So, very so happy the, that's so. the proceeds go there. Right. Okay. So, you know, we, we work, but that kind of drives what <laughs> yes. we do because we, you know, try to want to influence, uh, you know, our community as much as we can with service. Well, so for your Flaming Festival, how do we get tickets? Um, you can uh, look on the website. Uh -huh. You can email me at karmaokc at gmail.com. Um, we still have luncheon seats available. Um, we'll probably shut that down on Friday. We traditionally sell out. Um, but we still have some more seats available. We always love the Flaming Festival. It's been a fun event since the beginning when they featured lots of cookies and lots of candles. Plus, the all-time favorite collections of Simpage dolls. Hope this year's festival is way outstanding. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>